Well, here we are at our regular little Friday meeting spot for my uh, horror film vlog. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for joining me. Yes, you guessed it. Karloff! Karloff. Uh, this is probably Karloff's last greatest horror role. Not to say his last movie, but iconically his, his last really memorable horror performance. And it was in 1963's Black Sabbath. And I've got, actually, I've got two separate editions of the same movie. And it should be said that they haven't released the American version. Uh, it's caught up in all sorts of legal litigation or whatever. I have no idea. I've got it on, you know, VHS tape if I ever want to see it. But this is the um, foreign language edition with English subtitles. And it's beautiful. It's very creepy. Uh, Mario Bava was a master, not only in black and white, but in color. And this was his very first color film. The tragedy of it is that because it's in a foreign language, it was dubbed by other actors, and you don't get to hear Karloff's voice, which was very distinctive. Um, but anyway... This was the very first Mario Bava film I ever saw. I saw it on television. Must have been about 1965. Um, uh, films would tend to kind of come to tele television about two years after their theatrical release, back when I was a kid. And uh, I would see it, uh, being a huge Karloff fan even then. And, uh, oh, it was just very macabre and steeped in in all sorts of glorious European atmosphere, you know? And this is on a black and white TV. I was watching a color movie. When I finally got to see it in color, it was absolutely eye-dazzling. Favorite line from Black Sabbath by Boris Karloff, who plays a vampire. I'm hungry. At any rate, it's, it's, um... It's a horror anthology. It's a, a, a collection of three separate tales within one film. The American version had Karloff hosting each section, much like he hosted his um, TV series Thriller back in the very early 60s. The European version only has him introducing it and then has a, a hilarious outro, which maybe I might try to edit in here. Uh, just hilarious, which didn't make the American theatrical version, of course. So, apart from introducing Black Sabbath, uh, he also starred in one of the uh, stories which involved a vampire. A uh, vampire from... Russian folklore, who only feeds on the blood of those they love. And it's very creepy. Love it. Absolutely love it. Next, we have another European film, although this one was filmed and is presented in English, the English language, without subtitles. Give my poor eyes a little bit of a break tonight, because I was trying to get a migraine earlier. Uh, but I just love this film. It's called Cemetery Man, and it stars Rupert Everett. And uh, it's based on a sort of underground comic, uh, which uh, was very popular in Italy, uh, something called um, Dylan Dog, and also combined with other material by this, this same author. Uh, all of it went to make up this film. It's about a uh, cemetery, cemetery caretaker, that's the word, uh, yeah, and um, he finds that the recent dead are sort of doomed to re-emerge after two or three days, and 
it becomes his added responsibility to put them down again. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's done in um, typical Italian horror style of the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, it is, you know, n it's, a, it's a little rough to watch in places if you've got a squeamish stomach, uh, but it's got a lot of humor infused into it as well. Um, wonderful film. Just can't recommend it enough for dyed-in-the-wool horror fans. So, um, yeah, yeah, I always enjoy giving this look again. Look who came and wanted to visit. It's Nefer. Hey, babes. She's very curious about what I'm doing in here right now. She just woke up. She's been taking a nap. And there she goes. There she goes. She's back. <laughs> I have a cat on my back. I know with some people it's a monkey, but with me it's a it's a black cat. Well, I'm going to close out our evening. Uh, I know that a lot of people probably feel like there's no topping the original Night of the Living Dead. And I think that's probably true. But uh, this film is George Romero's latest uh, zombie work and uh, entitled Diary of the Dead. And it's especially appropriate considering that I'm doing a vlog for YouTube because um, it is basically a contemporized remake of Night of the Living Dead only, you know, occurring in present day and what if what happened happened in modern times where people could document it with, you know, video cameras and things and upload what they were experiencing on, you know, social networks like YouTube or news networks that accept uploads, things like that. So basically that's what's going on here. Um, I think it's a pretty cool movie. It's very low budget. It's, it's very independent, unlike his last film, which was sort of his Hollywood zombie film. Oh, this film brings up the issue of what do you do when you're in the middle of some kind of mass emergency? Do you document it? Do you stand there dispassionately with a camera and film it without interference? Or do you step in and try to make a difference? And uh, that's a very timely question, considering some of the things going on in the world right now. And it has lots of zombies in it, too, which, you know, is sort of a prerequisite for a, a George Romero zombie film, anyway. It has some interesting cameo appearances, too. Uh, because it's a low-budget film, they didn't do any on-camera cameos that I'm aware of, but they had a lot of people telephone in, and uh, Romero kind of weaved their audio performances into a lot of the fake cable news coverage. Uh, for example, they had Stephen King as a preacher, and it just cracked me up. I didn't know it was Stephen King the first time I saw it, and all I, all I knew was that, you know, they were listening to the radio, apparently, in the end times, it would seem, and this preacher's going, you know, Get on your knees! Get on your knees! Get on your goddamn knees! You know, and I'm going, whoa, that's some preacher. And it was Stephen King. Um, Simon Pegg from Shaun of the Dead makes a little telephone uh, cameo, as does um, Guillermo del Toro uh, of um, The Devil's Backbone fame. Uh, cool film. I like it. I, I, I do like it. Well, now I can see you. I guess that's it. Those are the movies I'm going to be watching tonight, and um, I'll bid you farewell for the time being. I'll wish everybody a really great weekend, and I'll be seeing you later on. Okay? Pleasant dreams. Ah, crap. Not another blackout. Sognatemi! <laughs> Diventeremo amici! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my